Am I seriously recommending that you become a jack of all trades, master of none? Well, not exactly, but in this video, what I'm going to do is talk you through why I recommend having multiple sources of income rather than simply one source of income. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take you through some real life experiences that I had and that kind of led me onto this belief and this path. And then I'm also going to talk to you about a couple of additional um, benefits that aren't really kind of thought of too much. So if we reverse back in time to when I was a little bit younger and my receding hairline was a little bit further forward and easier to hide, especially on camera, um, I was a property developer. Now, I um, bought properties, did them up, and then flipped them for profit, and I also bought properties and rented them out. And that was all that I did. So I had all of my eggs in the property developing basket. Now, it was going pretty well. It was growing fairly steadily. And then came the financial crash. Now, that kind of unfolded over a period of, it was quite short, you know, a couple of months, a few months. It, had, it went from being very, very easy to get a mortgage, literally any bank, any property, you could get a mortgage, um, not only a regular mortgage, but also investment and buy-to-let mortgages. It went from that to being incredibly difficult to get a mortgage. Um, investment mortgages, buy-to-let mortgages, the deposits suddenly became enormous, uh, the rates went way, way up on them, and it became less financially viable um, to, to use those mortgages. And on top of that, if you got the property, there were suddenly a lot less buyers if you were selling the property, and the value of the property was falling. So you were basically trying to catch a falling knife with these properties at that time. Um, the only real option was buy to let long term, but again, at that period of time, it was very difficult to get buy to let mortgages. Now, I got pretty lucky in the fact that I sold three rental properties um, probably about six months before. So I got them off of my books and it also put some profit into uh, my pocket. However, I could have been left fairly screwed um, with no real way to continue doing what I was doing through no fault of my own, um, through a kind of unexpected twist of life. And the unexpected twists of life come at you pretty fast and they come at you uh, no matter what it is that you are doing. If we kind of fast forward a few years on, my thinking had started to change by then into, well, seems pretty risky to only have one income source. Potentially I should diversify. And I was um, somewhat diversified by this point. So I also had an arcade, uh, an arcade business which rented arcade machines to um, different businesses. Now, at that point, I was in five different venues, and then I was given kind of, I think it was two or three months notice that suddenly, four of those venues were taking the machines out, which meant if all my eggs had been in one basket again, four-fifths of my income would have been gone. I would have had two months to get used to it, two months to deal with it, and again, I would have been left in a whole heap of trouble. This can happen over and over again in life. And the thing is, you never really know when it's going to come. And we're also gonna to touch on trading, why it's so important with trading as we move on. Because I'd say more than anything, trading is a good industry to have diversified income sources if that is what one of the things you are going to be doing. So by diversifying, by having different income sources, you're kind of able to ride out the waves because it's very unlikely that you're going to be hit from all angles at once. So if you've got, let's say, four different income sources, it's very easy for one of them to take a hit, maybe even two, but it's very unlikely that all four are gonna be hit in such a way that is really going to affect you. And what it also means is when one's doing better, another one's, it's okay if it dips slightly. If this one starts to dip, you've got another one that can kind of take its place. And then in the really good periods, 
everything is performing at its absolute best. And that's when you're making the most amount of money. Um, and this really goes for even if you're not running your own business. Because there's the argument there that you run your own business, um, you only focus on one thing because then you can master it. Um, and as you master it, your income grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. And it's, it, it's true. It is one um, kind of idea, one, one way of thinking. But as I've mentioned, by diversifying, you can really protect yourself from those unexpected dips. And unexpected things come along all the time. If you even think to trading, um, if you remember when they changed the um, leverage rules in the UK and Europe. Now at present, it's not changed in Australia. So when everyone took that hit, the people who were trading in such a way that it was going to screw them were able to move to Australian brokers. But very likely those brokers will catch on um, and do, not the brokers, the, the government in Australia will do the exact same thing. And there's nothing to say that down the line, the, the UK, the EU, Australia won't move to the, the kind of American model where it's much, much stricter in terms of leverage and margin, etc. Um, as a trader, you're kind of thinking in terms of really your yearly results. You don't think week to week. You don't really think month to month. I guess you could say you think quarterly. Um, it's very difficult to just rely on an income source that takes such a, a long period of time to kind of make sense. Because if you're having drawdown periods or if you're having difficult periods, you still need to be able to pay yourself. Um, it can also become very stressful, which is what I go over all the time. And stress and trading do not mix because stress tends to make you perform worse. And as you perform worse, that puts more stress on you. And then it becomes that vicious cycle. By having other things to rely on, it can really, really help you with your trading and it can allow you to go through the natural drawdowns and the natural difficulties. And that's why trading can be uh, such a fantastic income source alongside another job, even if you're working a regular job, because um, it's giving you the extra kind of financial independence. And it also means if you, if you do start to grow as a trader and become better as a trader, it can come to the point where if there's trouble at your work, or if you want to start looking for a new job, you have that income source to um, fall back on and to rely on. Now, in terms of unexpected benefits of having different income sources other than protecting you and other than allowing you to kind of ride the waves. When you're doing one thing over and over and over again, I don't care who you are. I don't care how much you love it when you first start out. Certain things can go from something bearable, something enjoyable to something you app absolutely detest and you absolutely hate. And what you all, or not always, what you tend to see quite often is people, they go to a job, they work this job and their focus is on money, their income starts to grow and grow and grow and get better, but their satisfaction and their happiness starts to plummet. So as the money goes up, the happiness comes crashing down. But by only having this one income source, you're kind of trapping yourself into it. You have to get up, you have to go and do it. There is no choice because how are you going to replace that income? It's going to be almost impossible unless you move to a different job in the exact same industry, so a different company. By having different income sources, if you do truly start to hate something, you can drop it because it's not such a big piece of the pie. You can. Um, you can decide, you know what, I don't enjoy this anymore. I don't um, want to do it anymore. So I'm going to make a change. And because it's not so important, you can do that. You can start building another income source. And as that one starts to come up, you can start dropping this one away. But that's much more difficult to do if it's your only income source. Also, there's the variety. Now, I understand this, you know, focus on one thing and master it. But it's very easy to get burned out. It's very easy to get bored. It's very easy to start despising something. If you have different things to focus on, um, as they say, variety is the spice of life. If I am working on something and it's kind of running me into the ground and I need a break from it, I can change my focus to something else and I can regain that kind of um, encouragement and motivation and I can still put the energy into that other business, that other income source. And when it starts to wane, I can move on to another one. 
And it's almost like picking yourself back up again and picking yourself back up again. And I actually find it increases uh, my productivity, being able to dive between different things um, and focus on different things. So those are the kind of main reasons why I recommend having more than one income source, especially when it comes to trading, because trading is literally probabilities. Trading is very dependent on your moods and how you are um, feeling. You know, if you go into trading and you're really stressed and you think, I need to make money now, you're going to lose money. Yeah, it's, it's just the truth. I don't care how long you've been trading for. I don't care how good a trader you are. You're going to go through rough periods. You're going to have drawdowns. By having those different income sources, it can really, really protect you. So that is my opinion. It comes from real life experience. It's not just a video that I've thrown together for YouTube because... Um, I wanted to make a video for YouTube. Uh, those are real world experiences of things I actually went through, things I lived through, and that kind of helps shaped me into the way I now approach um, making money. So as always, guys, I hope that was helpful. I hope you're all having a, a fantastic trading month. I hope you found the video helpful. I'm James Orr, and thank you.